back to Oh My Nosh. Today we are doing a Halloween special and we are making white chocolate and marshmallow ghosts. This recipe is really, really easy and really fun to do with kids or with adults um, and it's really tasty if you've got a sweet tooth. So we're going to start by melting 200 grams of marshmallows in the microwave for 30 seconds. So the marshmallows are all melted, can you see? Now we've got to move really quickly and pour 100 grams of Rice Krispies or on my blog you can read it um, and I do popcorn so you can choose between the two whatever you prefer but we're moving really quickly here stir that in so as you can see it started to get quite sticky we've just let it cool for two, a couple of minutes and now it's time to shake them so you're going to grab your stick and then with wet hands, just slightly down, it just stops the marshmallow from sticking to you too much. So we're just going to grab a bit of this, and it's time to shape your ghost. So you want it more full down the bottom. Super easy and really fun to do if you've got kids or nieces and nephews and they're not able to go out trick or treating. Actually, it's easier to put it, put a handful on the baking tray and then and then shape around. As you can see, it's very messy. And it doesn't matter if they're a bit misshapen because that's the whole point of them. They're meant to be wonky ghosts. So what we're going to do is we're going to pop these in the fridge for around 20 minutes um, and just let them set around the lolly sticks. They get nice and gluey and sticky. Um, and then we'll cover them in chocolate. The marshmallow crisps have now had 20 minutes in the fridge. I'm just gonna leave them there while we do the next step. So we're gonna pop a sort of white chocolate in to a bain marie. So I've got some hot water here. I'll just pop that over the top. You just make, want to make sure that the water isn't touching the bottom of the pan. So that's 300 grams of white chocolate that's in the bain marie. As you can see in there, we've got all the melted white chocolate. Now we're going to grab the ghosts. They are a little bit sticky, but we're just going to or the white chocolate over the top. You can also dip. Um, you can also do it in a glass, which means that you can scrape off the excess. Whatever works for you, whatever, whatever makes your life. And you're gonna pop it back into the tray. Repeat. And yeah, they're a bit misshapen, yeah, they're a bit weird, but that's all part of Halloween, isn't it? So, what we're going to do while the chocolate is still a little bit wet before we pop it in the fridge, we're going to put some currants in to make eyes. But if you don't really feel like that and you want to ice them and do it properly, not properly, but you know what I mean. Um, I've got the other recipe on my blog where I talk through how to do the eyes and how I did them previously. But then we grab the currants. So obviously currants are tiny, 
which means that they work quite well. There's tiny little monkey eyes. And then we're going to pop them in the fridge for 20 minutes. So these have been in the fridge for 20 minutes now and that means they're ready to get out and enjoy. So there we have it, white chocolate and marshmallow ghosts, perfect for this weekend.